Hi, Moral Recapped here. Today I'm going to explain about an episode, True Love, from a thriller series, Girl from Nowhere. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The episode starts with a young teen girl in a student's uniform on the one side of a high wall. She rests a handwritten note on it. On the other side, a young teen boy in a student's uniform takes the note and reads it. The note says that soon they will study together. He gives her back something that seems like a meal and they depart. A female narrator voice takes over and says that love relationship in school is an all-time problem. Why do they forbid it though? Are adults afraid of it? The camera pans left until it shows another female student sitting on the outer edge of a height window. There are boards which describe the proper way for the girls to dress in school and the proper way to be respectful. From what it seems, this school is an all-female school. One of the female teachers, Miss Narumol, is speaking with the school's headmaster and is telling him that they shouldn't merge their school with the boys' school. The headmaster says that he has run out of choices because there is a lack of funds. Narumol claims that their school is virtuous and it produces traditional ladies. If their school gets mixed with the boys' school, it will be defiled. Those boys are like termites and will corrupt the school. The headmaster says that he can't do any different. They need the money to keep the school running and pay the teachers as well. Narumol insists and throws some notes on his desk. Those are notes exchanged amongst boys and girls. The headmaster looks at one of them but doesn't seem much bothered. He smiles and he says that those boys are more outdated than he thought they would be. Eventually, the merging is going to happen. He is not asking for Narumal's permission. He is just asking her to prepare the teachers and the students for the upcoming changes. Narumal goes to the teacher's office and announces the news. All the teachers are females. She says that they need to take action and do something to not allow the merging of their school with the boys' school. One of the other teachers says that it doesn't sound so bad, but Narumal says that now the girls need to be taken care of. They are going through an age when they need to be free to blossom. On the contrary, boys are immature and irresponsible, and they will harm the girls if they come to contact with them. One other teacher, Miss Linda, completely agrees with Narumal. She furthermore adds that they need to move quickly because rumors have already started around the school. Narumal wonders who might have started those rumors. The merging is not even officially announced yet. Nano, the girl who is sitting on the window, is speaking with her classmates. They ask her if it's true that their school is going to include boys soon. Nano says yes. One girl comments that she will not know how to act around boys. What if they have a physical education class along with the boys? Nano calms them down and says that boys are not anything special. They are not intimidating. She tells a story that depicts a group of boy students being afraid of their teacher. A superimposition fills the screen and writes the 12th rule of the school, which is, girls are not allowed to laugh with the boys' jokes. The merging has happened and now boys are present in the previously all-female school. A group of boys and a group of girls come close to each other. Nano helps things out and makes the introductions among them. She also gets Namning, who supposedly has been in the school longer than Nano, to give the boys a tour of the school. The group of boys and girls walk together, and Punjang, one of the boys, cracks a joke. The girls laugh shyly, and Nano says that the boys are funny. Nano purposely does everything in her power to bring the boys and girls together, while Miss Linda is watching them and taking some pictures on her smartphone. Miss Linda shows the pictures to Miss Narumal, and asks her what they should do. Miss Narumal says she has her own ways of dealing with such issues. The students have assembled in lines and Narumal is announcing the rules since this is the first day that boys and girls will study together. 
She calls her rule social distancing. First of all, students will not even be allowed to form mixed lineups. The girls will line up on her right arm side, and all the boys will line up on her left arm side. Furthermore, the classrooms will be split into boys' and girls' rooms. They won't study in the same classroom. While the girls study, Miss Naramo makes the boys run around to keep their minds busy. Plus, chocolate and caffeinated drinks will be forbidden from now on, because they will potentially arouse the boys and increase their sexual desire. Another superimposition fills the screen and announces rule number 34. Boys are not allowed to say the word milk. Instead, they will use the phrase pasteurized drinks. At the school cafeteria, the boys and the girls are eating at separate tables while Miss Linda is watching over them. Nano tells the other girls that she is part of a group in the Line app and she adds them to the group so they can all text each other. Pob asks the girls for some milk and Nano slides her carton of milk towards him. Miss Linda takes note of it and takes Nano's phone out of her hands. Miss Linda takes Nano to Miss Normal and shows her the text messages. Narumal is not happy with it. Another superimposition presents us with rule number 41. It is forbidden for the girls and the boys to chat. If anyone gets caught, their account will be suspended. Later that night, we see Miss Narumal at her study room in her house. She takes a look at a picture of hers when she was young, sitting with a female friend and eating ice sticks. That gets a flashback started and we are taken to that exact moment. Young Narumal tells her friend that she wants to be a part of the education system and return back to this school as a teacher. When we return back to the present day, Narumal is holding an award in her hands for the best teacher of the year, 2019. She texts Linda and thanks her for everything she does for her. Linda replies that she would do anything for Narumal. A new superimposition presents us with rule number 76. It is forbidden to show any feelings towards the opposite sex, whether it is face-to-face, -face, by texting, or even by thought. Nano is texting on her phone, and her friends ask her how she does it. She is blocked on the Line app, but Nano has downloaded a new app called True Love, which doesn't reveal the student's identity, so the teachers won't know who is talking to who or even if it's a boy or a girl. The other girls download the app as well. All the students are enthusiastic about this new app and everyone starts using it. They use all kind of funny usernames and text each other. Narumal calls Nano in her office one more time and asks her if she is the one who started this true love app madness. Nano admits it and Narumal tells her that she needs to delete the app because things may get out of control. Some girl might get pregnant or lose their virginity. Nano says that deleting the app is not a clever move. The app doesn't show any identity, but the teachers can still monitor the student's activity. If things are going to be out of control, they can interfere and stop it right away. Except, if the teachers themselves are afraid of getting out of control by using the app. Narumal is hooked and tells Nano to spread the app even more and report to her about its usage. Narumal downloads the app and creates an account under the username Empty Vase. She is immediately matched with a user whose profile picture is a flower. They exchange a couple of messages and they kind of connect. Narumal raises her head and we flash back to her old time memories. Young Narumal tries to comfort a friend of hers, Rutai, who has been disappointed by her boyfriend. Rutai's boyfriend comes into the scene and asks for forgiveness. The girl leaves Narumal's embrace and returns back to her boyfriend. Narumal tries to hold on her hand, but Rutai leaves her for her boyfriend. Rule number 94 drops in. Boys and girls seeing each other in private will be considered a serious offense. Narumal assembles the students and announces some new rules since the students are failing to comply with the previous rules. The girls will study in a separate building from the boys. In addition, Linda hands her a blacklist containing names of students whose smartphones will be removed from them. Nano approaches Narumal and asks how their plan is going. 
She then indicates a weird noise coming from inside a classroom. Naromo walks in and sees Panjain and Namning. They have sneaked in there. She shouts at them and hits them with a broomstick. Blood runs down Panjain's forehead and Naromo freezes. The kids run away. Naromo turns her gaze at the empty classroom and is taken back to yet another flashback. Their teacher announces that Ru Tai, Naromo's best friend, has passed away. The doctors couldn't save her. Naromo can't hold her tears back. The camera spins around and returns us to the present day. The headmaster calls Naromo in his office and tells her that the kids were just tutoring each other. Her aggression might get the school in trouble if Panjain's parents decide to sue them. He fires Naromo completely. The next morning, the headmaster assembles the students so Miss Naromo can say goodbye. She starts her speech, but then Nano takes her phone out and does something on it. All the identities of the users are revealed, and now everyone can see who their match is. The students run around to get closer with their match. As for Naromo, she has matched with Miss Linda. Linda tells her some nice romantic words and compliments her spirit. Naromo is hesitant at first, but Linda insists by saying that love is love, no matter where it comes from. They don't have to be ashamed of it. Linda gets closer and kisses Naromo. She kisses her one more time, and Naromo gives in. Nano turns around and walks away like her work here is done. On her way out, she gets a notification. She is matched with another female student, who, by the way, bumps upon Nano. Nano turns to the camera and smiles. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching.